Ganesh Fatima, good girl. Ganesh Fatima, everyone loves her. Mm. She is truthful. Yay! It's so much She's fun. Strong. Touch me higher. Yay! By the way, what do you think the surprise is going to be? Which surprise? The one of Sister Ramin? Yeah, you're right. I think it's going to be something really amazing. Yes, obviously, it's going to be something amazing. Hmm. Uh, yay. That's why she called us to show it to us. You said to me we'll go on the swing turn by turn. Yeah, but let me first take my own turn. Then I'll put you on the swing as well. Promise? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, promise. Yay. Uh, yay. Ariba, what's wrong with you? Didn't you eat anything? Push the swing even more harder. Okay, that's enough. It's my turn now. No, first you have to push the swing even more harder. Raika, if I do it very fast, you'll fall down. No, I won't fall down. I'm holding the swing very firmly. No, I won't. You'll tell me off to mum if you fall down. And you will say to her that Ariba made you fall down. No, now I don't tell you off anymore. Please push the swing. No, not anymore. I'm tired now. All right, I'm also tired then. Raika, Raika, this is not fair. I'll complain to Sister Kanis Fatima. Kanis Fatima. Kanis Fatima. Everyone loves her. Mm. Oh, wow, chips. Jazakila, sister. You asked mum and made my favourite fries for me. But Raika, mum has clearly said that. She will not fulfill this demand of yours every single day. You know what? Kids shouldn't be eating chips every day. Mm. She is truthful. Yummy. She strives around. Mm. Oh no, sister. Oh, sister. What happened? Ah, I burnt my finger. Oh, it hurts so much. Oh, my hand. Oh. You burnt your hand. It's not very nice, is it? Neither did you read Bismillah, nor did you wash your hands. Now go and first of all, wash your hands. I'm sorry. Sister Ganesh Fatima, look at Raika. She's not helping me on the swing. Aliba, you shouldn't be telling off anyone like this. This is something very bad. You just keep quiet. Sister Ganesh Fatima, she said to me that we all have turns on the swing. Now, she has taken her turn, but she's not giving me a turn. Raika, what's this? This is not very good, is it? She also pushed me very slowly on the swing. Sister, I didn't even enjoy a single bit. But Raika, remember, this doesn't mean that you don't fulfill your commitment either. You see, you shouldn't have broken your promise in such a way. In a blessed hadith, a glad tiding of paradise has been mentioned for those who fulfill their promises. She also made faces at me. Raika, I stopped you from doing this before as well. Making a face at Tariba would have hurt her feelings as well. And it is haram to hurt the feelings of any Muslim. Sorry, sister. I won't make faces anymore. Don't say sorry to me. Apologize to Ariba for the swing as well as making faces at her. Sorry, Ariba. Please forgive me. Sister Ganesh Fatima, can you tell us what does breaking promises mean? After making a commitment with someone, if we don't fulfill our commitment, then this very action of ours is called breaking promise, meaning not fulfilling a promise after making it. No, Ariba, don't blow on the food. Both of you, go wash your hands. In the meanwhile, the chips will cool down as well. Mmm, that's great. Come on, let's go. Ganesh Fatima, good girl. Ganesh Fatima. Mm. Ariba, stop it. Don't make fun of food in this way. This is against the manners of eating food. We should always eat food with the immense amount of respect and reverence. Okay. And Raika, you too. We need to make sure that we don't eat anything in a rush. It is from the manners of eating that whatever we eat, we make sure that we chew it properly and thoroughly before swallowing it. Now look at that. Because of rushing through, some crumbs of the chips have fallen on the floor as well. Oh, sorry. Any food that we eat, we should always eat it slowly and make sure that we chew it properly and thoroughly. Actually, we were getting late to go to Sister Ramin's house. That's why in a rush, I was trying to quickly finish my chips. There's no need of rushing through so much. An action that is rushed through is from... Satan the Accursed. I know this. Ariba, did you inform your mum? Yes, Sister Kinesatama. I did take permission from my mum. 
I told her that. We'll be going to Sister Ramin's house with you, and she said it's okay. Okay, all right then. Both of you just finish off your trips. In the meanwhile, I will also go and inform Mom that we are leaving. Ganesh Fatima, good girl. Ganesh Fatima, everyone loves her. Mm. She is truthful. She strives around and enjoys the yeah. night. Mm. Yeah. Everyone mm. loves her. Very good. Mm-hmm. Ariba, anything that we take or give, we should do so with the right hand. Jazakallahu khaira. Should we go? Mama has rung up Dad. Let him just get back home, and then he will drop us off to Ramin's house. I don't know what time Dad's gonna come back home. Sister Ramin doesn't live too far. Right, Ka. Small kids should make sure that they don't leave the house without being accompanied by an elder, regardless of how urgent it is for them to go out, or even if they are to go to their neighbor's house. You should always go either with your parents or any of your elder siblings who can be your guardian. Remember, there is well-being and protection for them in this. All right. Ganesh Fatima, good girl. Ganesh Fatima, everyone loves her. Mm. She is truthful. She strides around. Here is the surprise. Oh wow, your bangles are so beautiful. Isn't it nice? It's beautiful. Let me see. Mmm. They're so beautiful. Yes, they are. My dad bought these beautiful bangles for me. Mashallah, these bangles are very beautiful. But Ramin, these are glass bangles. Make sure that you don't put them on yourself, okay? If it breaks in your hand, then it can also injure your hand and hurt you. Yeah, sure. I'll put on these bangles only with the help of my mom. Sister, I also want the same kind of bangles. All right, Raika. I will ask Dad to get you similar kind of bangles as well. Are you happy now? Jazakallah, sister. Dear girls, all of us, we love bangles a lot. If your parents buy bangles for you and bring them for you, then there's no harm in wearing them. However, remember, you should not cry over them or insist your parents to buy them for you. This can also make your parents worried. And most important thing, we should make sure that we never try to put on glass bangles by ourselves. Never. At all times, we should wear them with the help of our elders. Jazakallahu khaira. Kanizu Fatima, good girl. Kanizu Fatima.